What is up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stranded Deep where we are just going east. That's, I'm trying to be the beast of the east right now and that's all that I've done. The beast of the east and yet not the least of our worries is the fact that we have a broken arm still. It's really the main focus of like the last ten episodes, isn't it? The fact that our arm has been broken and we really, really need to get it fixed. Well, we don't really, really need to get it fixed. I think we could afford to lose a really there somewhere. I do wish the islands were a little bit... I don't know. My biggest hope for this game is that at some point, they will put in giant islands, like Hawaii-sized islands. Islands that are like the size of Maui, where you can just wander around on them. And you just, like, find your way around and find caves and go down in there. And each island can have its own randomly generated history. Get your dwarf fortress on. Like, all kinds of, like, randomly generated stuff. And then eventually find your way off the island. Like, for example, it should never be as easy as just firing, like, a flare gun. Hold on. Let me get this... Let me get this straightened out before I look at the sky. I haven't seen a plane in a while. I thought I saw a plane for a while, but it was a sneeze mark on my screen. And so at that point I was like, well maybe I should break out one of those cloths or something to make this all better. If we go back to the west, we'll find our way home. That's all that you need to know right now is I have gone no other direction but east and we shall stay upon that bearing as far and as well away as we can, I suppose. I don't think we've been out this far to the east. I don't recall ever leapfrogging out this far, but essentially at this point we're just kind of like banking on the fact that maybe we'll get ourselves a morphine out of one of these islands. I... Don't know what else to say. That's pretty much all we've been working for with these islands. And so if we get up on the island right here, let's take a look around. We'll see if there's anything around the periphery of the island. Obviously, it looks like we've got... It looks like a mast sticking out of the water right there. Yep. There it is. And so the wreck has been a mast over here off to the side as I fight back my random hiccups as always. No idea what causes that. I looked it up though and it's a real thing. Like people that do broadcasts and things like that are like, oh yeah, I have random hiccups all the time. It's your diaphragm just being grumpy about the fact that you can't shut the hell up. Let's go over here. I did bring oxygen with me this time so that we didn't have to worry about, you know, diving dangerously. Should be fairly easy. We got a machete and a mag light. We got some duct tape. None of this is looking too amazing to me. It's all not really stuff that I want personally. If there's a fuel tank in here, I'd be down for that. Console cabinet? I thought this one opened too. Is it only that one? Alright, it's only that one then. We'll leave that one wide open right there. He's like, oh gee, thanks for offering up my cabinet chastity to the universe. I appreciate it. We got another whistle right there, which is kind of cool. We got a lantern. I'll set up this island as something of a home base. So that it'll have lights, it'll have like a bucket, we'll make a campfire real fast in just a second. It'll all be great. I like to make these little stockpiles all over the place so that if we ever have to come back here... We find ourselves lost and out at sea. I should not do that. I should probably bring this to the island with me. And then once I've done that, don't crash into the mast right now. Yes, if you crash into the mast, my patience would be passed. Don't do that. Don't do that. Keep going over here. There you go, pal. Well done. Well done. I feel like I get condescending with my character very, very easily. Like, my patience has been tested. I bought a new pillow last, like, yesterday, I guess. I went and I got a new pillow. Was up all night. Could not sleep on said pillow. Made my neck burn. I was like, great. Well, there was a purchase well made. Normally, like, people who come over to my house, they say that my pillows are too floppy. And so I decided to get one that's a little bit stiffer. Something that's got a li little bit more just like, uh, like some, some hardness to it. You know what I mean? And it did not work out for me at all. I essentially... I think I laid down at like 1 in the morning and I was there till like 6.30 before I was finally like, forget this. And I got my, I, I'm a slow learner. Anyways, I was like, forget this and grabbed my other pillow off the floor and was like, yep, we're going to do it just like this. Oh, there's a plane right there. There's a plane right there. Flare. It's totally not going to help us, by the way. I'm just letting you know, like this flare gun, that thing is way up there. That plane is up there right now. It's pretty much a waste of a flare to even fire it. If you're ever in a survival situation, that plane right there is not going to be of use to you. What you want to look out for is low-flying planes like rescue planes. That right there, I mean, it's possible. It's possible he might see the flare. Anything's possible, though. Like, it's possible that we'll find a race of, like, unicorn men deep down in the Amazon that we've never met before. It's possible, but I can't... No, I'm all out of the bullets. Der bullets have been used. I get out of here, flare gun. You're useless to me. You're empty inside. You're empty inside. He's like, I was already empty inside. Somebody left me on the bottom of the ocean, man. You know what that feels like? You have any idea what, what that does to a young flare gun psyche? It destroys you internally. It destroys you. I need a counselor. You know what I need? I don't need to be shot. I need a counselor. Let's go back down into the ship and see if we can find. Oh, there's another one out over there. You see it? Unless that's a shark. 
It's possible that it might be a shark. I think it's a shark. I, I, I frequently have trouble telling the difference between sharks. No, an urchin! I saw it right at the last second, too. I saw it right at the last second. Now my arm is covered in nasty little zitty blisters. Great. The zitty blisters. That actually sounds like a punk band from, like, the 70s. The zitty blisters. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I've nailed that one improperly. Is there anything over this way? Or does this just kind of, like, go on forever? Damn urchins. Ugh. You know what? This is why people leave you on the streets, urchin. This is why people leave you on the streets to raise yourself. Because, oh, you can see his... Wow, his jet stream goes way out there. I don't know if it... Did I just fall through my raft? Hey. You're supposed to be my support structure, man. You're the only thing that I have right now. If I don't have you, I don't have anything else raft. That's the point that I'm trying to get at right now. So I need you to be on point and just take care of me. Take care of me as you would your own. Let's check this ship over here for morphine. And I guess at this point, we're also looking for antibiotics. There's a whole bunch of them back on our ship, but this one is going to be the ship with the below deck area. The risky below deck area. I don't know if we can climb out of that. So for right now, there's a hard case up front with another flare gun. Does the flare gun actually work on sharks at this point? Or is it just like a thing? Here, yeah, hold still. Shark. Ugh. Oh, that didn't go as far as I wanted it to. We'll find then. Get out of here, shark. I run you away with the power of flames and explosions and fireworks. Hooray. Everybody loves a little celebration. I'd be that idiot out in the corner dual wielding flare guns like, wee! It's a celebration time. Celebrate! Ooh, a water bottle. That'll be nice because we are a little bit low on our aquatic beverages. There we go. I think somebody mentioned you can like stick a tree down in this, so I guess I'll give it a go. We'll see if we can. How did that hurt me? That was like a two foot fall. Man, this guy's got. Maybe our ankle's broken. Maybe I forgot about the fact that our ankle is broke. We should probably track down some food while we're here, too. Just to sort of get the old tummy bits filled up. Let me smack a couple potato plants here. I'm also, if we make it to nighttime, I'll probably try and make a bed or something just to make this whole thing flow a tad better. It's going to hurt our hunger, but it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, my hope is that eventually they start to make islands of varying sizes. So they started out with these very, very little islands. And I would actually love to see large mountainous islands that are sort of like the continental arcs that you find along the sides of continents where it's a place like I talked about in previous episodes. You got a subduction zone. The subduction, the two plates rubbing against each other as one subducts beneath the other causes, along with salt water and other random volatiles, it causes the stone to melt and turn into a magma. Magma, I don't know what you know about hot things, but hot things tend towards... I don't know if I should use this fat little tree right here. He's like, hey, I've been on a diet and everything. You know how demoralizing it is for you to like make fun of my physique right now? I'm like, you need to stop. I'm still going to chop you down. Anyways, magma and other hot things expand and rise. And so the magma expands and it starts to burrow its way upwards towards the surface. It then breaches, causing a little volcano at the bottom of the ocean, which then begins to exude material all over the place. And so, hey, I, 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 get up there. Am I not grabbing you properly? Like, what's, can we not climb with a tree in our grasp right now? What's up with this? So what's up with this? Uh. Oh, man. We need to come up with a plan here. We need to come up with a plan to apply my engineering skills as and not drown while holding a tree. There we go. That'll work. I don't think you can climb while holding a tree. It's seeming unlikely. That or I tried to get up on the wrong corner. Either way. All right. Let me use the boat then. Never mind. It's not working for me right now. It's not working. Eh. There we go. So they make it work. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I fell in. Oh, balls. Okay. So if we can't make this work, that's going to be... It for us, I think. Oh, we did make it work, though. Oh, no, it fell through. So now the question becomes, do I want to risk... Yeah, hell yeah, we want to risk it. Let's go. I might be able to climb out of this one. Maybe. If I spam on the jump key a lot. Nope, we can't get out of here. Luckily, we got ourselves a tree, so that's not too big of an issue. Let's loot this bastard first, and then we'll figure it out. We got a carburetor. A bucket of seawater. We got a flashlight. All of the stuff. Come on. Like the same loot over and over and over again when all I need... All I really need is a loverly, loverly bit of morphine or maybe even some antidote now or some antibiotics or whatever the hell. All right, put that right there. Yes. Yes. Oh, the plan is so successful right now. 
I am all that is man walking up your trees and just getting rid of your ridiculous death trap boats. This is what happens. This is what happens. Here, let me close that hatch in case I fall down in there again. Just to make sure. I'm not trying to wound myself any further. Let's drop down in the ocean. I think last time I jumped too far out and it caused me severe pain. Maybe I should have kept the flashlight. Eh, I don't suppose you have any more bullets. Nope, no more bullets. Well, it's nighttime. So, that is going to severely hamper our abilities to find wrecks. I figure what we should do right now, then... Maybe gather up some sticks and make a bed so that we can sleep through the night. And then once we sleep through the night, it'll save us a little bit of time and a little bit of trouble. So we need palm fronds for this. I just... There's gonna be beds on every single island around here. I don't know who the first survivor is. It's us, but I don't know who that person is. It's a generic random person who may be male or female. I think male from the noises he makes when he hits the ground. But anyways, the second survivor, is this place is going to be like a bed and breakfast for him. We're going to have all kinds of stuff set up. I can't wait till they add in things like farming too because I enjoy like stuff like that where you get to make like little hedgerows. And then you get to make things look pretty. And then people come by and they say, yeah, I really respect what you did with this island right here. Even though that's never happened to me before. On the internet, that has never been a thing. My god, it is so dank and dark right now. We only need sticks. We'll probably have to run down a couple of yucca plants, too. I don't recall the exact number of sticks that we need. I'm figuring it's not, like, too many. Eh. It's like some. We need the palm fronds for sure. I know that no matter what. We need palm fronds. And then we're also going to need some lashings. How many, though? How many, though? It's hard to see yucca at night. You know, I give yucca a lot of trouble. But Yucca does pretty well with this camouflage game at night. It's doing pretty well. Let's think of good lessons like the Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, when he's hiding from the Predator. Where is the Yucca plant on this island? Oh my god, is there is there no Yucca plant? Oh, this is going to be a long, lonely night if there's no Yucca plant. This is going to take forever. No! Yucca, where are you? Yucca, I know you're here. I don't think I've ever seen an island in this game without Yucca. I know it's out here somewhere. I'm just going to walk through the darkness until I stub my toe on it, because that's how I solve all my problems. Brute force for the win. Well, it looks like they've got an overabundance of potato plants. So if we're hungry, we should probably refuel here. Let's get on that then. One problem at a time. Potato, 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 potato. Come on, potatoes. Hey, how you like them potatoes? We can't say how do you like them apples anymore, because nobody on the islands knows what an apple is. They've never seen an apple before. And so it forces into this weird position where... We're forced to explain that, you know, how do you like them potatoes? Potatoes are actually kind of like gold out here. People trade them. They wear them around their necks like medallions, like bling. It's their potato bling. They call it pling just to make it work a little bit better, but... Let's eat up all these taters. Now that we got a little bit of moonlight, we might have some better luck finding this too. I knew without my flashlight. I left a flashlight under the deck. Left a flashlight under the deck. I actually don't think there's any yucca plant on this island. We may have gotten fortunate and got, like, the one island that had no yucca plant. So if that's the case, we'll probably get back to adventuring and just sail off. There's one right there. There's one right there. How would you like to come with me, yucca plant? How would you like? I think you need, like, four lashings, though, in order to make this work. So we may be lacking in lashing. The beatings may be a tad light right here. Yeah, we still, I think we need a couple more, maybe a couple more lashings and a couple more sticks, maybe. I know we've got most of the stuff we need. Hey, potato plant already grew back. That thing is bugged as hell. The potato plants grow back, like, really, really fast. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but the potato plants are like, bing, they're back, like, instantly. They're like, you tried to keep me down, but you can't hold me back. I am the magical potato plant. I don't see any more yucca around here, so what I think I'm going to do is we're just going to get out of here. Yes. Oh, I had a water bottle. Why am I? Well, I guess we'll save it for later. Never mind. Is that a yucca plant right there? Oh, it is. There's a yucca plant right there, he said, as he was looking for yucca plants. Yeah. Now, the downside to this is that occasionally when I sleep, I wake up in the morning. In fact, by occasionally, I mean like all the time. I wake up in the morning and it's raining. Something about sleeping seems to make the rain come along. Got a bed over here, though. I'm going to put my bed over here, and then let's schlep the night away. Don't rain. Don't you stranded deep. Don't you rain right now. Don't you do it. I'm threatening you. I have no real power to threaten you. But I'm just saying, if you rain right now, I shall make it rain down upon you with complaints. So my reign of complaints will not refrain or abstain, and it shall be quite the stain upon... Hmm. I got nothing. I got nothing. I was going to say a stain upon the main of your character, but eh. I don't know. I don't know. No! If you beach this raft, damn it. Ugh. The raft needs to be able to... There we go. There. No. 
No. I need to center myself a little bit better. There we go. Now that I've been centered, let's continue our pill quest. Hooray for pills! I think we were going west when we started this out. I don't know. Were we going west or were we going east? I can't remember now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I think we were going east. Yeah, we were going east. Pretty sure. Because I set out and I sailed right past our 110 East Island that I deforested. So, this island having been a complete and total utter waste of time, just like most of the islands we've gone to recently, there seems to be a very, very real lack. Like, I have so many band-aids. Like, if I was getting shoot on, it's weird, because in our first playthrough, I couldn't find band-aids anywhere, and we were bleeding everywhere. In this playthrough, we're poisoned, and we got all kinds of other problems, and I can't find the solution to our problems anywhere. It's... it's troublesome. It's very, very troublesome. So let's just keep going to the east, and I'm assuming that eventually we will find the solution to our problems. See if there's any other planes taunting us with their aerial supremacy. I haven't seen any whales yet either, which is weird. Really weird. I saw one when I was farming sticks, but... He was just kind of like chilling. He wasn't really like doing much. And I guess he must have like vanished off into the distance. I kind of... I wish the islands looked a little bit different too. Like they could be differentiated from one another. Like you would have like Crow's Head Island and you could like name them all kinds of cool piratey names. Like Yar, We be going to Crow's Head Island. Yar, where are you going? That's how you really pirate it up. You gotta say the G's at the end of like, we be sailing. You gotta get that in there. Kind of like a James Hetfield type thing. Sailing. I don't know. It works for me. It works for me. It makes me pretty happy. Are you a whale? He's like, sure, I'm a whale. Come swim with me. Come swim and be fanciful with my whaliness. He's like, I'm just kidding. I'm a great white. I'm a great white. This, is, this plan isn't gonna work. You're gonna get close and you're gonna be like, oh, that's a great white. I don't like great white sharks, they're scary. The way their mouth does that detachy thing, eh, eh, freaks me out. I don't like it at all. I don't like it one little bit. Like, it's pretty cool actually though when one of those dudes blasts a seal. Like, the seal's swimming in the water and the shark's like, get owned! And like, surfaces out of the water and just like nails him and like cuts him in half. That's kind of like cool. That's pretty metal in like a real like biology sense, like a biology evolutionary survival sense. It's kind of gangster. Like, sharks are sort of terrifying. You gone as you, if it was you, you kind of hope that the shark kills you on the first blast when he launches you up into the air. Because being cut in half seems like it'd be kind of stressful. Really, really, and not even like briefly, I bet you could live for a little while being cut in half if he decided, like, decided he didn't want to finish you off. Like at least 12, 15 minutes maybe? You bleed out pretty quickly, but oh, that seems so, I don't want to think about it anymore, that'd be unpleasant. That'd be really unpleasant. Ew, no. Being cut in half, that's all bad. That's all bad. Oh, we've been here. Son of a bitch. Alright, so this is an island that we have already had Congress with. Like, indeed, but it's been a while. How would you like to have Congress again? Like, not right now, island. Not right now. We're looking for morphine. And also antibiotics. And they're like, yeah, I'm gonna go back on that. I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, we have a water bottle over here, too. Stack them up. Alright. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff over here. Hmm. See, like I said, I leave myself survival piles all over the place. Just in the hopes that maybe they'll be useful at some point. Get out of here, flare gun. I mean, throw you. Littering in the ocean. That was like when you're... Anyways, that was like when my mom would try and show us how to throw. My mom didn't throw a whole lot. Like, she was never like a softball or baseball player or anything. And you're just like... Nyeh! And then it just kind of like does that. And you're like, oh, well, that wasn't the greatest throw. I had the saddest thing happen ever with a teacher one time. Like, he took us out. And we were on like this field excursion for geology. This, this whole, like, littering in the ocean thing is not going so great for me. Anyways, it's revenge for the story I'm about to tell. There. Ah! I am the worst at the throwings is. There. Get out there. Into the ocean. Biodegrade over a long period of time. There. Enjoy. Let's see. How are we doing on food and water? Oh, we're doing shitty is how we're doing. Really, really shitty. Okay. So, let's go ahead and... I got a lighter, right? I brought a lighter with me. I know I had a light. Damn it. Okay, so we are at the behest of coconuts for right now. Okay, I don't know why they make that cracking noise the first time you hit them, but they do. I'm gonna drink out of you real fast, and then we're gonna have to hunt some more coconuts. The coconut hunt begins! Yay! That worked way better than expected. Actually, I expected it to work just fine because I've thrown like a million coconuts in this series. You get our health back up, the poison is slowly draining away at our beautiful, wonderful frame. 
And so, in the interest of keeping ourselves well framed and centered, like a lovely picture on the wall of your living room, I would prefer to keep myself fed for right now. I'm hoping we don't get any fog or any rain either, because every time that happens, I have to call the game on account of rain, and I just gotta, like, sit here for 20 minutes while I wait for the rain to go away. Rain, rain, go away. You block vision, super lame. Let's go like that right there. Did that song ever work? Like, that song came around. Somebody sang that song for the first time, probably hoping that it would work, but I don't think that it ever did. We're going straight to the east. Let's keep riding. I'm a rider. All up on my raft, kicking all the shocky ass, then I run up the mast, I'm a rider. There we go, that seemed to work alright. Yeah, climbing up on here, there we go. Let's get this thing on out, there is nothing that remains for us here. Let us cruise further for the Emperor, to the east. Yeah, like right there, how far to the east can we go? How far can you cruise? Well, that didn't rhyme. How far can you, I don't know. This one's kind of off center though. I feel like that island over there might get us into trouble. We're going to bypass it. We're going to bypass it. Let's see how far out we can ride this thing and just see where it ends. I think I'm probably going to break the episode off right here. It's a little bit short, but frankly, like, there's so much travel time in between all this. I could do cuts, but I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm like, done with the whole, like, let's make tiny little cuts thing, especially since, well, there are reasons behind this decision. But now, my name is Splatter. Yeah, thank you for joining me here on the lovely islands of wherever the hell we are. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, a very, very fond farewell and hi do from me to you. I'll see you in the next episode. We're not out of here yet. We're trying, though. I'm trying real hard to get this thing finished off, but it just, it just won't seem to flush. We need to get these objectives done, and I can't seem to find my way there. Bye, everybody.